Right. D-Day veteran Hugh McGuire makes an emotional visit to the grave of his fallen comrade and friend, Corporal Thomas Baker. We went everywhere together. We went out. We went to the socialising, out for meals together. It's a thing that hits you right down to the bottom of your feet. And uh, to see that thing is a, a pal that you run about with. This is where, like, like two school pals, but you had your duty to do as, as soldiers. And uh, we did it and trained very, very hard. Hugh, pictured here during his service, was injured in the blast that killed Corporal Baker. His superior officer urged him to seek treatment at first aid, but Hugh told him he was determined to carry on. Look, sir, I have a wee job to do, but I have to get your permission to tackle it. He says, what's that? I says, it's that machine gun post that has been peppering us all bloody morning. Look, he says, if I give you permission to to tackle that and you get shot, don't blame me. I says, if I get shot, I'll not be here to blame you, will I? Hugh killed two German soldiers and captured two more, including notorious SS officer Anton Gikas as he took the machine gun position. Now he has returned with Scottish war blinded to Ranville Cemetery in Normandy, where many of his fellow soldiers who he served with in the Ulster Rifles have been laid to rest. Although more than 70 years have passed since that day, the visit has brought back a lot of memories. Very emotional. I could uh, even see my footsteps <laughs> the day, you know, it's a, it's a big loss, it's a big hole in your life when somebody parts. A short life like that is worse because if you live to old age, well, you've done your duty. Hugh was awarded the Legion d'Honneur for his bravery, but he says he was just doing his duty. Honours is nothing to me, it's what I had to do and what I got over and was successful at it. That was my motto. Don't give in. I never give up until I finished my job and that was it.